my last question is how do you build a winning team? Ooh, sports or organization? Both. Both? <sighs> how do you build a winning team? All right, everything happens through vision, okay? Uh, I've heard it said this way. Um, it's hard to follow a parked car <laughs> that doesn't know where it's going. So don't be the parked car. What are we doing? Where are we going? Why, why does this matter? Vision should lead every organization, okay? And, 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 and so to build a winning team or building a, a winning organization, you need a vision. Why do you exist, okay? Listen, Apple has a phenomenal vision. Disney, phenomenal vision. These big companies, phenomenal vision. There's a reason their vision matters, okay? Now, here's the other thing. You need a set of core values that you're going to enforce. Because according to Dr. Sam Chan and many other great leaders, culture trumps vision for lunch. You can have the biggest vision, but if you don't have culture to enforce the vision, your vision will never come to pass. Culture is a combination of what you create and what you allow, okay? Mm -hmm. So what do I create? What, what values do I wanna to stick to? Is excellence, is consistency, is timeliness, a part, whatever values that you choose. And then how do I enforce it? Because it's one thing to have it posted on the locker room, <laughs> uh, posted on the wall, sticky note on your computer. It's another uh, to say there's actually consequences to these actions. And we see it on winning teams. They actually enforce it. It's a culture. Hey, if you don't finish the line, we run more. Versus, hey, oh, you didn't finish the line. Everybody yells, but nobody gets penalized. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so we have to enforce the culture. Um, and then the last thing I would say is make sure you recruit the right people, incentivize them, and retain them. Okay. Um, this is this is the number one reason why teams like Alabama, LSU, uh, Central Michigan University, <laughs> fire your chips, had to throw us out there, remain on the top. This is why. Because have you ever thought about the fact that that a lot of these bigger teams literally have um, third string people who are good enough to be starters on other teams? Yeah. Why would I sit the bench for two to three years before I can play and showcase my talent? I might get hurt at practice before then. Mm -hmm. Culture. But when you have the right personnel, it's over. They say the right people in the right position headed in the right direction. That's the recipe. That's good. Yep. That's all I got. Sweet. Good stuff. Till next time. I'll let you boy. <laughs>